Hey guys, Jared back. So we've got Echo ROM version 0.5. I believe it's 0.5. Um, anyways, this is a really cool ROM. Now this is developed for the N9005 though. Those of us with Canadian Galaxy Note 3s or T-Mobile or AT&T, uh, you guys can go ahead and flash this too. Just make sure that you flash the appropriate Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC fix afterwards. I will be posting a link in the description below to the ROM itself and I'll be following this video up with a how to install video which I'll also include a link to download the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and uh, NFC fix as well well, uh, just in case you guys need it. Uh, that said, let's jump into the ROM here. So tons of modifications for this ROM, tons of battery optimizations, so many so the developer even says that there's just too many to list. There's also a bunch of performance enhancements as well. I'm not even going to get into those. Um, tons of actual um, SMS um, modifications in here. Apparently he unlocked all the hidden settings and things like that for those of you that are interested, as well as that split view, as you can see there uh, just a second ago. You'll also notice up at the top here, uh, my battery, uh, um, icon looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Looks pretty cool. We'll be getting into that in just a moment. Uh, jump into the, oh, and by the way, there's a bunch of um, camera um, tweaks and things like that, like the sound and uh, a bunch of other things. So just in case you guys were uh, interested in that. Um, as you can see, it's still fully loaded with Samsung bloatware, at least what I would call bloatware, as you can see. Some of you guys might actually take advantage of a lot of these applications. Um, I just don't understand why with these custom ROMs, they're still including things like S-Voice. I, I guess there's still certain things that need it, but nevertheless, I don't use any of this stuff here um, so but you know some of you guys might like it so there you go um, another thing a couple of the apps are supposed to be themed such as the Play Store and Google Hangouts um, they aren't themed for me at all as you can see so I'm not really sure what happened there maybe I just need to reflash the ROM or something but just wanted to let you guys know uh, we also do have add away we have app settings we have F droid we have language enabler light manager uh, Viper for Android uh, WANM exposed and of course what would WANM exposed be without the exposed framework. But all of this can actually be, um, uh, you, we can get to this stuff in the settings here. So if this will let me pull it down, jump into settings here. Uh, everything else here is pretty much the same um, with the exception of device uh, in, in the device category. Down here at the bottom, you'll see it says call message block. So jumping into there, uh, some different options to block um, calls and messages. Uh, but we'll go back up to here to display and scrolling back down, you'll notice we have this torchlight option here. So when your device is actually um, off or you know you have the it locked, basically the display is off, okay? Um, if you long press the volume up rocker, of course, it will activate your torch and you can uh, choose a predetermined time, uh, 15 seconds all the way up to 10 minutes if that's how long you need a flashlight for. <clears throat> so that's cool. Um, we also have the multi-pen window um, and multi-window. So of course you can use any applications you want. Those particular mods are included in this, which is cool. Uh, and then of course we're gonna get into downloads and extras and this is where all the magic in this ROM happens to be uh, located. So we've got uh, downloads here, themes, mods, and much more. So if you wanted to, you can jump in here and you can check out um, the Echo ROM Kitchen, uh, which has a bunch of different stuff from previous versions and so on, boot animations and things like that. By the way, this thing has just an amazing, amazing boot animation, which I'll actually show you in the how to install video. Uh, also a cool um, booting off animation as well. Uh, we have changed DPI, so you can change the, the overall system DPI if you wanted to. Uh, there's your exposed framework menu. We have battery style as well. So we can jump in here, click on over to styles. And as you can see, we've got quite a few to choose from here. And I decided to go with the progress line because I thought that just looked really sharp, uh, sharp. And I've never seen a battery icon like that before. Um, so I decided to go with that. Uh, so we've got that option there. Here's your Viper Android uh, modification here so you can enable it, things like that. Of course, you'll have to grant it super user permission and so on. Uh, please let me back out. So moving on from there, we, there's our light manager. So of course you can control the uh, notification light colors depending on your um, the apps or your app preference, I should say. And we also have a battery, battery calibration uh, tool in here as well. Some people think that these battery calibrators are stupid, but the reason we use battery calibrators is because we flash ROMs. And I, I hate it when people say that this isn't necessary, but the thing is when we flash a bunch of ROMs and kernels and, your, and the, the uh, battery percentage wasn't full when you did so, um, over time you may have a 100% charge in your device but it'll read like 98 or 97 or something like that. So you never get the actual true 
um, percentage, whereas what this will do will actually fix that and put it back to 100% when the device is actually 100%. So um, that's to you folks out there that say those battery calibration apps aren't necessary. They are necessary. Uh, there's your option for Attaway, uh, fast dormancy. Um, it says disabled saves battery. Um, this actually only comes in handy for those of you that have carriers that don't have fast dormancy. So if your carrier doesn't have fast dormancy, this is where you'll disable it to save battery life. But for instance, my carrier, Bell Mobility, does support fast dormancy. As a result, I am not going to be screwing with that because um, uh, it, 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 I do get the good battery life out of it, okay? So anyways, um, oh God, come on. Let's get out of here. Get out of here, there we go. Uh, we also have CPU Spy, so you can click on this and check out what your uh, phone's doing in the states and all that other good stuff, and blah, blah, blah. Um, what else? Ooh, we should probably, oh right, because that was running as an application, so we'll have to jump back into the settings menu. Uh, moving on from CPU Spy, uh, we also have Control CPU, which is basically, you know, um, if you have another kernel uh, that's capable of being overclocked, you can go ahead and here and overclock or underclock. It's up to you. We also have GPS Fix. Uh, so as you can see, it's selected for Asia now, but if I wanted to, for me in North America, I can go ahead and then click Go, and this should provide me with a faster GPS lock uh, for here in North America. Um, and then on from there, you basically have just a couple of really uh, standard options, uh, Reboot, Reboot, into recovery or reboot into download mode. And that's pretty much it. Um, the ROM's pretty cool. Um, the battery's got, or sorry, the camera's got some slight modifications to it as well. Uh, the SMS um, text messaging application has a ton, a ton of different um, customizations and, and unlocked settings in there as well. We have uh, this thing, uh, it might work here if we, yeah, anyways, um, that didn't work out, but it also has an option to long press the menu button to kill whatever particular application you happen to be in at the moment. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys for this ROM. Um, I really like it. I like the customization options they give us, especially with some of the UI um, changes that we can make with the uh, battery icon there. Um, Anyways, yeah, so I'll be posting a link in the description below so you guys can go and download it and try it out for yourself or at least just read the different features that this comes with because this is a feature-packed ROM. It's just that I just kind of showed you guys um, the most obvious ones that are accessible via the settings menu. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching. If you like the video, click that likes button down below and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. But that's it. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.